terrible script that actually managed to work as a film, even though the script is bad. I think a lot of those, like the Jallos, or I mean, those are those are dumb movies, but they're so yeah. great. I mean, like yeah. Argento, like his movies yeah. don't make any sense. Right. Like, the, the the trilogy, the, the Muppet, whatever it's called, uh, whatever. But anyway, like those movies are just so stupid. Like mm. it's a dumb film, but I love right. it because like it's constant. There's like constant wave of like really interesting things to look at and great sequences and yeah. brilliant colors. Well, that's the thing. For a movie to be good and have a bad script, it's really got to make up for it in yeah. some other way. What about a mediocre? Like, I mean, like, I think way. Mystic River, oh, to yeah. me, is a film which I don't like the script for, but I think somehow the end result of the movie I enjoy a lot. Clint Eastwood has, he cannot read scripts for one thing. Like, he does so many bad scripts, but he uh, sometimes he actually is able to transcend it through yeah. just the power of his... Those are deliberate filmmaking. Yeah. Those are bad scripts. Million Dollar Baby is a bad yes. script. So stupid. Yep. I mean, I don't like Million Dollar Baby very much, but it's but but it, but it's a particularly mm -hmm. bad script for how not terrible the movie right. was. Mm -hmm. And Mystic River, I had such big problems with that I could. But I think you're probably right about that. That's interesting. Mystic River is good is a good example because it's a it's a movie that's perceived as legitimately good, even yeah. though it has a bad script. Yeah. I went through a phase where I would read scripts of movies that I had seen online. They, 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 there, there was a certain point in the early 2000s where a lot of script warehouses opened up that showed you multiple drafts. Mm. And you read early drafts of scripts of movies that you like, and you realize like what that thought process was like and, and why, <laughs> why American Beauty is what it is, is because that script in its original format was so bad. I mean, it opened with with like, um, you know, I, the the kid with the with the guy with the thing. He's in jail and he's like listening to the drops of water, <laughs> and it ends with a giant courtroom scene. Oh, I've got to read this now. It's 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 horrendous. I mean, it's horrendous. But I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm reading it. I'm like, you know, later I was reflecting on this. I was like, you know, the, the rest of the movie is not very well written either, actually. Yeah. It's it's got a lot of visually interesting stuff going on in it, and you know, and some good acting. Right, yeah. right. No falling on cedars. I thought it was kind of a lovely movie with a terrible. Oh, I've seen that screenplay. It's not. How's it compared to the book? It doesn't have very good actors. I haven't <laughs> read the book. Maybe that's why I liked it. Yeah. And I know that I'm gonna get jumped on for this, but <coughs> I actually sometimes like Joel Schumacher. I don't hate him with the passion that most film lovers okay. hate him. I dislike the Batman things as much as the next person. But I like Falling Down, <laughs> which is a politically horrible movie, yeah. which is a. Uh, which is over the top, which has uh, the most filler I've ever seen in a movie. It like has an interesting story, but then it has like 40 minutes of stuff jammed in with yeah. this Robert Duvall character <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. But I don't know, maybe it's because I like cheesy vigil vigilante movies. But there's yeah, something that, about watching him be. like barrel through stereotypes and cliches <laughs> as he kind of marches across the city with machine guns that I'm just like, this is... This is sort of insane in a not even a bad way. This is like just, yeah. That reminded me, when you said falling down, it reminded me that I, I suspect that most Brian De Palma films look really bad mm -hmm. on paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just saw it blow out and I was like, you know, there are points in that where I just imagine what that looks like on paper and I'm almost embarrassed mm -hmm. to imagine what that looks like mm -hmm. written yeah. down. And yet it kind of works. Like, it totally works. So, yeah, it's yeah, funny yeah, that the Jungle Book character makes no sense. Yeah, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But I don't yeah. care, it's, it's still I know. a great film. Dress to Kill on paper had to look ludicrous. <laughs> All that stuff with the STD at the beginning where yeah. she gets an STD, like that had to look like. Yeah. I, I think I did see the most elaborate uh, recent movie that I can think of in the past 10 years with the absolute worst script, which was uh, The Curious Life of Benjamin Button. Oh, I hate that movie. Uh, which I hated, but the amount of effort that went into making what must be the worst script I have ever seen recorded in, in, in within the past, let's say, let's just be generous and say 10 years, right? Maybe 20, I don't know. It was Eric Roth who wrote Forrest Right, Gump. who wrote Forrest Gump. Yeah, I mean, it's but, very gumpy. But it, it's gumpy, but it's really a bad script. I mean, like, just everything that is said is is insulting, actually. It's awful. Like, I was insulted at, like, every five minutes in that movie. Which is, it's just so annoying, because, like, there's, like, a germ of an idea, like, so yeah. some theme that they could do, and they have nothing. It's just yeah. like, oh, he's... Now he's younger, so, but older. Well, there's so much that they could do with that. It's like, yeah. well, we're not it. talking about the big elephant in the room, which is Esther Haas. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah she, I feel that like Showgirls is sort of semi-intentional. Like, yeah. I, I feel for Hoven's intentional. I don't think oh, yeah. that Esther Haas. I don't know. I feel that he was just like right that, the filthiest that was the thing AI you can, of you can <laughs> do. And like, yeah. actually, I think, I think Basic Instinct is a film which has a lousy, lousy script, and it's kind of yeah. a brilliant film. Yeah, like, yeah. Because because I think that there's a, a kind of 
sort of camp yeah. relationship to the yeah. script that the film has. So. Did he do the Kathy Bates uh, Diablo? Well, Starship Troopers is no. a bad Starship Troopers. script, no, no. too, and it's a decent yes, movie. Yes. Starship Troopers is just like... I cannot convince my wife to watch Starship Troopers as a parody of, or satire of something. Oh, it's so funny. I mean, it's, it's a fascist propaganda film from the future. Know. It's, it's a complete Category E movie, though. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, dismantling the genre from within. Yeah. 